Hello, Blogineers. Today we're playing, we're doing a live playthrough of the Scarlet Envelope, which is an escape room type game. We have three envelopes, so we're going to see how many we can get through today. Okay, so we're going to do the first one right now. Oh, Scarlet has two teeth? Yeah. Okay. All right, so everything is in here. There's a bunch of different things that comes with the first envelope, such as this map, a broken museum ticket. The directions. That's just the. That's. I don't think that's part of the game. Okay, but um. There's also an advertisement. I'm kind of curious on how how to check the answers. Usually, usually it looks like a website that you can go to. Um. Newspaper. Okay, newspaper. Here's a. Uh, torn up card with numbers and words what let's read the qr code. oh maybe the qr code would take us somewhere okay so maybe this game is based on qr codes there is also another card and lastly what? Some kind of brochure. <laughs> so last time during our um, unboxing video, brother was like trying to look through, you know what I mean? Like look through an uh, angle like that. To see if there's words. Because we've done that quite a few escape room words. Well, actually there are words. Yeah. It says, well, no, it's kind of faded. It says guilty. Okay. Wait. All right, so I'm not sure where to start. Uh, where do you think we should start? The new side? Or, I don't know. This is, kind of, this is kind of confusing right now, but maybe we start here. All right, while you do that, let me scan the, uh, the QR code to see if... Uh... Oh, wait. Hold on. I think we start with this. So, um, practice right now. Open the Spotify playlist we curated to set the mood for, for your first game. Oh, oh no, okay. we don't need to do that. Oh, that's just some music. All right, but let me try that. I think it's just... Uh... Okay. Open Spotify in Safari. All right, so where should we start? The newsletter? So I wonder if the three envelopes are like tied together um, or they're just different mysteries. Okay, so here, welcome to Scarlet Envelope. Turn on the music and let the mystery set the mood. The first adventure begins. Okay, the music is about three hours long. So I wonder if that's how long to play the game. But... Okay, is there a hint system? Um. I am not sure. Oh no, I need, I need to sign in to Spotify to play the music. I'm not sure if I have a Spotify account. Let me try. All right, why don't you start off by reading the newsletter? This? Yeah, to see if there's anything important. Oh, it has. Oh, it has a page here too. That's okay. So. Bletchley, Bletchley Park was the top secret home of the first World War II codebreakers in England. The brightest minds were brought together, and it was here that the enigma was cracked. Recruitment for a position in an organization that had to remain secret was necessarily difficult. 
So how did Bletchley test code breakers to prove they were worthy? Okay, there's a lot of gaps in this newsletter. So I don't know if they're supposed to be words filling. Do you see? Oh, hmm. No, I think sometimes, see how like both sides are even. So sometimes I have to space it out so the columns will be even. You know what I mean? Uh, so I think that's one. So are all newspapers like that? No, it depends on the type of newspaper. Some because this looks really bad. Yeah. The editor. Has, or unless this is a part of the mystery. I think it's part of the mystery. The editor arranged to have an impossible timed challenge to solve a special crossword in 12 minutes. Five people finished in the time allotted just to prove the point with no reward promised. However, shortly after, the fastest solvers received a letter inviting them to work at Bletchley. Of course, Bletchley Park is now just a memory, another heritage attraction. However, who knows how many other mysterious organizations recruit prospects like that. Don't you like the feeling that if you keep solving puzzles, then one day you might get a call from some shadowy secret society? I don't know if that helps. What? Okay. So now what? Mm. How about comb through the other parts of the newsletter? In the meantime, I'm going to go on to the website to see if there's like a hint system on the website. And the music, I think it's gonna be working, but the one thing I'm afraid of is that if it's a copyrighted music, then um, I might get a copyright strike where I'm not able to- No, I don't it. want music. Oh, okay, but I, I do wanna play just a little bit to see what it's all about. Okay, police making plea for help. The death of a young mother of two is now being investigated in connection to a similar to similar cases in the state. We might be looking at a serial killer on the loose," said Officer Hudson. Oh, please stop that. <laughs> okay, so let me go. The see body of happened. Janice Ward, 26, was found at around 3:30 a.m. This year, I traveled more. Oh wait, hold on. And it says read more, page two. So on page two. Here. Earlier this week, a very similar case had happened. Okay, so so basically, there's something about death, and then or a serial killer, and then a bunch of little articles. Um. Something about tips for traveling over here. Recycling, an article, a short paragraph about recycling. And I have no idea what this is. Western traditions. Oh, maybe this is an ad about a funeral service. Okay. On the back, a thing about a cat burglar and a section about leisure. Then there's a scarlet crossword, which might be one of the puzzles and a how-to section about folding paper. So maybe the folding paper will, will require folding something like this. All right, so these are all the components and I have no idea what we need to do.
Okay, so, um, so we're just waiting for a hint system. Yeah. I couldn't find one, so I'm not sure if there is one. I have no idea. How to what, start? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, hey, Nick. How's it going? There's just so many components and nothing else. Is there some sort of introduction sheet that we threw away? No, I think that's it. Wait, wh where did, how about the original box this came in? Did that have some? No, it, it was just three envelopes. Um, what does this say? We've been watching you closely. This collection of unconnected items is your chance. Make sense of it and join us. So we have to make sense of all of these items? What? Did you read this, the three tips? Maybe each article is associated with one of well, these items. It's possible. But the thing is, where do we start? Oh, what's this? If you finish your crossover, we're waiting for you ask it. You're not showing it to the camera anymore. Oh. Over here, so if you finish the crossword, we're waiting for you at scarletenvelope.ca slash. So I think this might be the ultimate thing that we're trying to solve. Oh. Yeah. So seven words. Seven words? Okay, how many articles are there? One, what? two, hold on. So one is about code breakers recruitment. Okay. One is about police making plea for help, which is the same one uh -huh. from here here there's also a third article about three tips for traveling number four might be this uh -huh. thing number five uh -huh. number six there's more than seven. seven. Oh, maybe one of them just intro or or maybe something just uh well how about the, the stuff that we have? Do we have seven stuff? One, two, three, four. Oh, oh. Hold on. How many other items besides this newspaper? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, right? Seven? No, this is how seven. to recure. Or maybe the paper itself is a seven. Oh. So maybe that's it. So each piece is one puzzle? Maybe. Then where would the seventh puzzle in here be? Uh, so what's this folding thing? Origami. Oh, uh, maybe the, after you fold it, somewhere will show up. Oh. All right. All right, let me look at the next letter. Is there anything with the park? Let's... So maybe each of these items is associated with one of the articles. Yeah. Is there anything for this Bletchley, Bletchley Park? Oak House Dinner. 
I think Oak House Dinner is associated with the silk serial killer. So, so it's this piece of paper. And then this one, a special performance. Where's that? Is there one about a special performance? Gala Night Colette Special Performance. No. Hmm. The Dam's Wold. This all doesn't make sense. General admission? Like this, I think it's a puzzle somehow. See the forecast with all the numbers? Oh, what's this say? What word starts with... Oh, these are jokes. What word starts with an E, ends with an E, and only has one letter? Envelope. No matter how far you push the envelope, it remains stationary. Oh, so stationary, get it? Where did the ghost go to send his mail? To the ghost office. What's the difference between a politician and a flying pig? The letter F? Lying pig, get it? A politician's oh. just a lying pig. Someone told me that you can let out all your anger by writing letters about everyone you hate and then burning them. But I was just wondering, should I keep the letters? Burning them like the people. Yeah, the joke. What? Okay, so this crossword is an open book. The numbers tell you where to look. Um, hmm. What? Ray, ill, way. Oh, so maybe these are the similar words. Spray sheep. Envy, tie, Sean, let her. Oh, bet you very. Car bar, eh. Coupon. Oh, coupon. Look at the coupon. There's a coupon somewhere, right? Or is this a coupon? Um, The coupon is... No, this is a ticket, not a coupon. No, then this is a coupon. Oh, okay. So ra rail, railway, rail, railway. Railway. Yeah, this is railway. Oh, ah. ra okay. So we're getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So railway is railway, railway. which is this shape. Okay. So what's the ticket? Ticket. Key ticket. Oh. The the ticket. Ticket. Okay. okay. <laughs> Spaceship. 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 Oh, uh, spaceship over here. Okay. Okay, number four. Envy Taishan let her. Envy Taishan letter. Invitation. Uh, oh, yeah, invitation letter. Invitation letter. It's this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, bet you very. Ob obituary. This, is it? What? Obituary, where it's when What's someone that? when someone dies and there's a, you write something nice about that person. Is this it? Could be. No. Wait. Or maybe it's obituary in the newspaper. So obituary. Oh, here. Oh, this? Yeah. Okay. Carbare. 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 Cabaret? What's that? This, maybe? Cabaret is kind of like, like a show. Okay, then it's this. So probably that. And coupon. This. Yeah, okay. But then what about this? Maybe this would go together with... Oh! There's something on the back. There's numbers on the back. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Okay, so cabaret. Do you think that would be this word? Guilty? Guilty. Yeah, Could probably. Alright, so you wanna... You're still writing on this Hold one. On. So basically there's seven puzzles, right? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Three? Um, on their FAQs, they say that envelope takes about an hour to two. So we can probably just do one. Unless we finish in. No, I just feel like doing one. Seven. Okay. 
So, um, so number six, the carburet, is this thing. She's gonna, sh wait, are you sure it's just guilty? I feel like there's something more to it. Because that's too easy. She's gonna shake your world. Oh, you have to it. shake it. Right? This is guilty, right? <gasps> yeah. Right? If you shake it, the word guilty becomes more visible. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Look, see? Let's show the camera. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to show the camera. So, you... Oh, but the camera can already see guilty. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But if I shake it... Hold on. Yeah, you can see it better. But in well, the camera, the camera, it's the same either way. But when you see it with your eyes, uh -huh. then then guilty appears better when you shake it. Okay. So that's what it means. So number six. Oh, is so guilty. so I should draw. If we can draw something like that, or, or you know what, just write guilty, but then um, but then make space so that you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna it, underline you. Sure. Okay, sure. Yeah, that that works too. Okay, so we're pretty sure that's, that's guilty. It's got to be guilty. Okay. And also over here, there's an A on here. Okay, sure. I also do the same. Start with an A. Okay. 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 So we did one of the seven puzzles. Hopefully, we're doing it correctly. Now, let's go back to number one railway. Railway, <laughs> railway is this. Okay. So, well, how many letters or words do we need to get? Wow. Oh, this is the England Railroad. Because these are all these are all England cities like Sheffield, Liverpool, uh, okay. Birmingham, Derby, Preston, Leeds, Darlington. I recognize all those. So, with rail, the railway map. What do we do with that? It's probably connected to the newspaper. Yeah, there might be something in the newspaper about it. Oh, it says, Railway lines and stations in and near the dams' wolds. Wasn't there something about dams' wolds in here? Hold on, there was something okay. about... There, where's dams' wolds? I saw it in here earlier. Um... Seriously, I saw it earlier. Put your hand. Oh, oh, other worlds? No. Is there something in the back? Um, no. Oh, do you think we fold an origami? Oh. And then, oh, cause, yeah, cause maybe this square, is the right? origami puzzle. Because if you fold it... For our fun weekly how-to section, we have a simple lesson called Origami Envelope. From Introduction to Origami, written by Ellen Besby. Yeah, this has got to be it. Right, so after you fold it, maybe... The, the... And also, this is already kind of folded, so maybe that's a hint that this is the folding puzzle. So yeah, I think puzzle number one out of seven is folding. And we already did puzzle yeah. six. It's guilty. That's the answer. So... Puzzle number one. Should we get four. brother to fold? Since he's better at folding. Okay. Brother! Brother! Uh, I want to look at another puzzle while I go grab it. Okay. And maybe at the... And once we fold this, then it will... The letters will come together to spell something out. Here comes brother. Okay. Brother's uh, coming to help us fold. What? Here, we have to fold this. Come here. Come here where I'm right. So we're going to fold uh, fold this into an envelope. But I'm not sure. All right. Before he starts folding, which side do you think will be the... Probably... Uh, this will be inside, right? Uh... Brother, what do you think? Yeah, because envelope. Oh, yeah. Right? So, like this? No, no, because if you fold it like this, all the words will be outside. No, but once it's completed, then the red side is what has to ha be the one with all the letters. 
No, this will be right. And I'm kind of thinking maybe that when it opens, there'll be a little window. Oh. And then the window will have a word. That's my guess. Oh. Oh, I can try okay. it away. Oh, really? Hold on, yeah. So this side, let's assume this is the white side and this is the red side. Okay. And if it doesn't work, we'll If it doesn't work, do the other one. Don't rip it. Call right. me back with Okay, so. Or do you want to think of another puzzle while he does that? So we... Okay, sure. Yeah, so it's a little bit faster. All right, uh, number two is ticket. Ticket. This is the ticket? Uh-huh. And it's going to be a one, two, three, four, five letter word to get from the ticket. Wait, but then I'm going to have to use this newspaper. So how about I just do the coupon? Oh, sure. Okay. Number seven. Puzzle number seven is the coupon, which is just over here. Daily coupon. It probably has something to do with the jokes. Large 20 ounce coffee plus 10 donut equal 10 cents. Hmm. What does that even mean? Daily coupon. And also this thing with all the numbers. Yeah, that's the only one that I'm not sure if it's... 311, 1.8. Yeah, so oh, I think I know, I think I know. Maybe one is like the first word and fifth letter, the eighth word. Oh. Maybe? Wait, hold on. Yeah, probably. Okay. It then we'll need be. this later. Like to... Oh, maybe of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's of that. But then which which one would that be? Uh, what spray sheep? A spaceship. spaceship. <laughs> okay, so coupon. Coupon is this coupon. So, what word starts with an E ends with an E? No, that's just a joke. So I don't think that's anything to do with a coupon. What's on the back of the coupon? Um, okay, sorry. What's on the spaceship one? The spaceship? Spaceship repair and parts for sale. It's an ad. Oh, wait. Oh, there's, a, code. there's a QR code. Okay. okay. I'll take my phone. Come on, focus. Focus camera. Okay. So let's open it. Oh. One Falcon Millennium. Razor Forever. Alter RU. Explore LX200. Alright, you, you want to look at each one of these? Let me... Look. I have no idea what this is about. This site. So I'm clicking on all of these and it just gives some information about, about each ship. The, the spaceships. So that's... That's number three, right? One, two, three, four letter word. So, oh, so maybe one letter from each. Oh, yeah, huh. One letter from each place, okay. Yeah, one a letter from each type of uh, um, Okay. Oh, cool. Thank you. Brother Stan. Okay. So let's open that. Right, open it. The instructions aren't that clear. What? Hmm. There's nothing <laughs> like. Oh no. What? Wait. How many oh, letters are we looking for? Seven letter word. Wait. Yeah, seven. Wait, no. One, two, three, four. Oops. Oh, it's 
Um, here's what it looks like. Okay. I don't know. It could I think be it was more correct before because it's more square. I know. Yeah. yeah. Can you, can you fold it back to what you had before? Yes, it is. It's just... This is probably the right one. The instructions aren't that clear. That's the only problem. It wasn't that clear. Now, if we were to fold the other way, it probably won't make sense, right? Because you, you have a whole bunch of words. You miss walls? That's not a real word. Hold on. And then this usually gets folded down to, yeah, to like there. Then you fold it. Hold on. Folding it in there. No, that's not how you do yeah, it. Yeah, that's not how you do it. Oh, yeah, like you tuck it, it in. in. Yeah. Okay, then, oh, then maybe you read. Huh. I mean, this is folded correctly. But, now what? Mm. All right, I'm kind of stuck on it. All right, maybe we'll come back to this. Aww. All right, in the meantime, let me think about the spaceship. So, spaceship is number three, right? Yeah, so I think right. you're right. Write one letter per. Because there's... There's information about four spaceships, Falcon Millennium, Razor XR5100, Alter RU, and Explorer. So, uh, what is it, wait, what, what does it say here? Uh, one crewman stealth race ship. Tell me when you Yeah, I'm kind of stumped on this. I wish it was Oh, a... wait, maybe, is there an article in here? About? That could help us. I feel like this puzzle is related to this. I don't know Maybe. why, but I just think it is. Yeah, minus. Wait, is that a seven? Do you think that's a seven letter word? One, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six letter word, right? Is there one to six letters? Number six? Number six is six letters. That's the cabaret. No, but we already yeah. have that. Mm. One. What? 
This is so hard. All right, let me um message uh, the creator of this to see if there's like a hint system somewhere. Hold on. Wait, I'm just gonna try something real quick. Sure. Oh, do you want uh, this for him to fold paper? You want to use our? Whoops. He now has a letter G in there. I have to feeling. Puzzle number six, if I click yellow T. Alright, so I just sent oh, an email. Um, I just sent a message to the game designer to see if there's like an online game, uh, hint system. What article is this? They've got to have a hint system, right? Oh, uh, wait, which one's this? Railway, right? Number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letter Is there word. a ten letter word in here? Oh, maybe it's the name of a place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, cotton him. Hold on, I'm gonna try to fold this. Thing. Okay. <clears throat> or what if I try folding it the other way this time? Oh, someone. Okay, so she said, "Do you have? Do you see the narrow yellow piece of paper?" She oh, a hint. Yeah, over here. This. Yeah. Okay. So what about it? Uh, there should be a link. Oh, here. scarletenvelope.ca slash FAQ. Is that mm -hmm. it? Oh, I, I found the paper. Okay, do you want to read it? Is there a hint somewhere? Where? I think it's on the side. No, I went on the site before. Just try again. There's no hints on here. Unless I have the QR code. Alright, I'm asking her now. Oh! Oh my gosh! Okay, scarletenvelope.ca slash newspaper help. There it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so here's the link to the help site. <laughs> we were so stupid. <laughs> All right. Scar. Let's. And. Hello.ca slash news paper help. Hmm. I think I, oh, okay. I typed scarred it wrong. 
Scar. Oh, Scarlet only has one T? Yeah. Huh, but the actress, actress Scarlett Johansson has two Ts. Oh, that's so. a name. So you, so the title of this live stream only has one T. Right? Okay, I'll change it later. See, I was saying Scarlet is not a word. That's why I don't know why you put two Ts. Because of Scarlett Johansson. But n p people's names are not words. Well, I mean, they, they're they not like dictionary words. Okay, so we're in the hint system now. Okay. Oh, thank you. The Game Master. The crossword puzzle. Hint. Is that the first one? Yeah. So we'll click on hint. Uh, each number helps you identify location. That we know already. Okay, so. Oh, wait, a location? A location where to find. So trust say each word out loud. We got that already. Railway ticket. Yeah, so we got all that already. Okay. Wait, so, hold on. Wait, railway ticket? Yeah. Spaceship. Oh, oh yeah. Number one, railway. Two, ticket. Three, spaceship. Four, invitation letter. Yeah. Remember? Hold on. I, I just want to oh, see it. Else. Wait, where was it? Oh, here. So we're doing the obituary first then. Which one's the obituary? Um, that was the first hint. Number five, hint. Oh, wait, first of all, we, we didn't even try obituary first. Yeah. Hold on, can you tr skip to this one? Because I th we've been doing number one, railway. Railway? Oh, I find out the railway. Hint, it looks like a paper has been folded before. So, oh shoot, <gasps> <laughs> now we mess, mess all up. What's yeah. the R of folding paper, okay, yeah. So we gotta fold it. Follow the way the map is folded. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> so we messed it all up by folding it all over? Thanks. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on, but I think we can kind of see where it was folded before. Oh no, so we did this. Uh... Oh yeah, we can kind of see. Yeah, because bro brother didn't fold it as, as like yeah. distinctly. Hold on, I'm gonna restore the foldiness. Oh no. Whoops. Oh here. Oh, you can kind of see on the back line. Right. So there's one over here. Okay. Right. I'm gonna make. The folds more distinct. There's one over here. Okay. There's. Where, where are the other folds? Oh, there's a fold over here. Okay, we messed this all up. Can we just get the answer? Well, I kind of saw the answer, but let me see if I can now. Let me uh, see if I, see if I can fold, fold it together. So this is a red herring? No, no, no. That, uh, that was right, but I think we're supposed to fold it along the... Oh. Along the... When it was folded already. Oh, so then why didn't brother do that? I don't know. Come on, man. Uh... Okay, I see. I think this was the original fold here. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
something like that. Wait, hold on. It says to fold it before doing the sides. Do you see the steps? Oh, I see. Sorry. It's supposed to be upside down. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before you fold it anymore, wait. So, so just let me okay. finish. I think you're doing it upside down. No, I think this is where the previous fold was. Oh, okay. Right, and then you fall. No. Why are you supposed to fall the other way? I'll try the other way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is. It. Yeah, I think that's right. This because when I fold it out, it's a lot easier. Ah, so. Oh, okay. You got it. Something here. And then that would be the word. Cutting here? Yeah. Okay. Also, can you see if the answer to puzzle six is guilty? Sure. So cutting ham is the answer to puzzle number one. Wait, so this is the correct answer, right? Yeah. Yeah, the guilty is correct. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's do number two. So, number so far the word is AT, right? A, yeah, AT. So the final thing is A. T. And then and there will be the blank. three, four, and then there's the A. Five. So hold on. Zero, one. Two, three. Wait. No, four and then A. Oops. I'll do this uh, back. I haven't gotten any eraser. No, it's fine because there wasn't enough room anyway. So on the back. One, two, three, four. Two, three. Four, A, and we have a T here, and then five, six, seven. Here. Okay. So this is what it looks like. hmm. Okay. Next. Also, we need a jam box. Right. Which puzzle do you want to do next? Obituary? Ticket. Okay. Let's do that one next. All right. Uh, the hint. The tickets are so old that the last name of the artist got erased. So not oh. overthink this. Just use your your erudition. Oh, um, um, Edward Munch. Where is that? That's his last name, Munch. Where? I think. No, that's that's just my knowledge. M U N C H, I believe. Oh, so that's it. U N C H. Hold on, huh? Oh yeah, it is the N. N. Yeah, it's gotta be. But is that is, is that just munch? That's it? That's too simple. Oh, 
Hold on. Okay, yeah, it were much. I think that's it. Hold on. I'm gonna look at the answer. Yep, yep. But where is it in here? Hmm? It's not in there. It's just uh, the knowledge of the art. And I know that the, this painting is called The Scream. It's by Edward Munch. Okay, so it's an H, then on the back I'll put it. Authentic? No. Anyways. Okay. No, uh, third. Spaceship. Spaceship. All right. I think the clue will be like one letter from each. Yeah, I'm sure. In the website. Read the QR code, which we did, right? Uh, read the flyer and description of the ships carefully. Anything special about one of these ships? All right, so let's do that. All right, so let me scan the thing again. All right, so what was the clue to look at? Right, I'm going to read the clue again, okay? This was... Okay. Read the flyer and description of the ships carefully. Anything special about one of these ships? The flyer says, We service both Martian and Earthen ships running on high x engines built not earlier than the 2195 year okay so we're just gonna read one of them is maybe it doesn't fit the criteria or something okay so this is the first one year 2194 so that's before 2195 so so it doesn't fit the criteria okay go to the next one was it built? This is not say. Is it a Martian or Earthen ship? Oh, we have to read the description. Or does it run on high X engine? Oh, run it runs on high X. So which is the previous one run on high X? No, it, it doesn't say anything about it. Okay, go to the third. Two one four seven. That's before the year. So these are. Does it say anything about high X? No. Okay, and the last one. So the Martian. Two one nine seven. Oh, that's after. Does it say anything about high X? Oh, good was a good high X mileage. So this one fits both. It's built not earlier, so that means it's after. So that's correct. It has a good high X, and it's a Martian or Earthen ship. Right? Yeah, it's a used Martian ship. So maybe it's that one. Because this one's the one that stands out. Yeah, and what's the name of it? What's the name of the ship? Explorer. Maybe it's the word. How many? Explorer. How many letters is this one? Three. Oh, it's only oh. four letters. Kila. Oh yeah, Kila. So that will be K E L A. Okay, I think that's the answer. Can you show? Okay, let me check. K E L A. Kila. Um... No. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, okay. cool. So we solve puzzle number three, which is the spaceship puzzle. So by now we've done the railway puzzle, the railway origami, which is puzzle one. 
We did the broken ticket, puzzle two, and we did the spaceship, puzzle three. Oh, and we okay. also did puzzle six that we skipped ahead since this one was easy. The answer is just guilty. Yeah. All right, so three more puzzles, four, five, and seven. Number four is Envy Taishan Letter. What? Oh, Invitation Letter. Oh, Invitation Letter. Yeah. Uh, pink one? Uh -huh. How many letters? Wait, which one is it? No, it's just the in Invitation Letter. I know, but I'm saying how many letters? Oh, yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? Oh, is it this? <laughs> Maybe. It's unscrambled. I'll read this okay. first. I request the pleasure of your company to join us at the Oak House for dinner tomorrow night. You'll be delighted to know that you have a lot in common with all my honorable guests. The dinner menu will undoubtedly please you as much as the company. First course, elegant African peanut stew. Main course, your EJSUZ space MJUUMF space TSDSFU with a lemon tahini dressing. Oh, I know, I know this. The leaves? Maybe like the F, you plus seven. Wait, why would you plus seven for that? What? Like A, B, C, D, E, F, F will become. G H I J K L M or something. Oh wait, is there an E in any of these? There's an E here. So maybe it means. Hold on, is there a J in these? No. Where am I going? Oh, expecting you this Saturday at six o'clock in the evening. The Oak House, thirteen Old Oak Street. So it says Saturday. So maybe Sat plus five. Oh, so everything plus five. Yeah, maybe. so maybe everything like ABCD, here plus five. Yeah. Hold on, so... Hold on, so E, F, G, H, I, J, the J, K, L, M, N, O, S, T, U, V, Q, R. So far, it makes sense. U, uh, V, W, X, Y, Z. Uh -oh. hmm? Should I pull up an alphabet? A, B, C, D, E. Jor is... Let me pull up an alphabet. Um, the W. Mm. There's a little alphabet that you can just. Oh, It doesn't make sense. Hold on, I'll just finish. Sure. <laughs> F G H I J K. That makes yeah. no sense. Okay. Oh, maybe you unscramble this. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a word with a Z in there. <laughs> George Rozerk. You kick Okay, no. <laughs> Alright, that was obviously wrong. Um, let's see if we can get it. Oh, your kind regards oh. your something friend. Wait, how many letters is that? Maybe that's the word we need to solve. Uh, this is how many? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so it's this one then. Yeah, but, okay, do I plus five to this? Yes. Plus five to each letter. So B plus five is C D E F G. G. O P Q R S T. Oh, that uh -oh. might be it. Huh, I'll just do one more sure. letter. P Q R S T U. Okay, maybe. Not. Should we try one of these other ones then? These. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Or maybe it's as simple as unscrambling this. No, because there's only two vowels. 
and it's like oh. Z and yeah, my feelings we gotta shift things around. All right, let's try if it's plus seven. B will be what? One, two, three, four, five. I. O will be one, two, three, four, five. I V. W. Okay, I don't think that's it. Plus two. Would be Q. No, that's not it. Minus two. C. M. No, that's not it. Minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. V. I. Oh, that might be it. So far, wait, what? So far, minus six kind of works. Also, wait, B will become one, two, three, four, five. V. So O will become I. P will be one, two, three, four, five. J. Oh, no. Nah, no. Nope. But why would it be Tuesday? Plus eleven. Let's try that. That will be the last one. Plus eleven. D will be one, two, three, four, five, six. M. O will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. M's, okay. I will give a hint then. This is the. This is the invitation leaf. Invitation leaf. You're clear, clearly dealing with cipher here. I wonder if a newspaper can help recognize it. Yeah, the word that you, the word you need stands out the most. This one, so we know already. Yeah, this one. But sometimes it's good to take one step back instead of rushing forward. Oh wait, maybe. It's Minus? But why would it be minus? Can we try minus? So Saturday... Five, right? So W? J? No, that's not it. And this one. Are you looking at the answer? Should I look at the no, answer? No. Not yet. I don't know. Sometimes it's a good idea to take one step back instead of rushing forward. Where else in the newspaper would, would there be plus or minus? I think that's got to be it, right? Yeah, that's got to be it. There's no other hint? Yeah, that's it. So the hints again are... The, I wonder if a newspaper can help. The word you need stands out the most. So we know the word that stands out the most, which is that word. And then we have a newspaper, which I think is a forecast. And the help is sometimes it's a good idea to take one step back. And so rushing... Oh, do you think it's backwards? So after we do the Saturday, look at it backwards, maybe? Oh, okay. Let's try that. So do the Saturday thing. Okay. Do start with T actually. Sure. Okay, so T plus five, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Why? Mm -hmm. V plus five. One, two, three, four. A. Y A. U. Uh oh. S. Is, wait, that's number four? Mm -hmm. Z. E. 
Yeah. And then O is T. U and T again. G. Yeah, it's not right. Hmm. Should we look at the hands or the answer? Uh, okay, how about you look at the answer and give me a clue? Sure. Oh. What? It does it have to do with this? No. No. What does it have to do with? Wait, let, let me see if I can find it. Is it this article? Oh, I think it's this. Oh. Come on. Okay. Wait, what? Hmm. It's got to be something about a code breaker, right? Because we are trying to break a code. Yeah, but I don't see it here. Okay, so the thing is called a roti. Using the roti cipher. Where? Describing the newspaper. Wait, what? Roti, R O T I. Hold on. Roti cipher describing the newspaper. Wait. You see the word roti? R O T I? Like, mm -hmm. like the thing we eat? Yeah. What? Hmm. Anyways, do you have to look up Roti Cipher? I think the newsletter might describe what the Roti Cipher is. Actually, I think I might know what a Roti Cipher is. Oh, is it this? This one? Okay, what do you is think? Is Roti Cipher the one where you look at the, the, the letter that's 13 spaces away or something? So, like for example, a Y, a uh, A becomes an M. Something, something like that. But yeah. it's, but in this case, do you, do you want me to tell you how many letters away? Okay, how many? Just one. What? Wait, what? Just one letter away. <sighs> but you think, of, look at it backwards, right? The coolest. Look at it. Don't take a step back. So take a step back. Okay. So you go all backwards. Right, right. So B becomes an A. Oh. Anonymous? Mm -hmm. But how? Anonymous? Okay. So... Ah. Anonymous? Four, the four letter. So that's an N. <laughs> a thin. Okay, next is the fifth puzzle. Which is? I'll bet you vary. Obituary. I'll bet you vary. Is there an advertisement for obituary? Nope. Oh, okay. 
Oh, maybe this, this one. Maybe, that could be it. It's something about ancestral, so maybe. Yeah. It is with saddened hearts that the family of Kenneth Ferry announces his unexpected passing at the age of 50. Kenneth is survived by his loving wife, his son, daughter, and brother, as well as numerous other relatives and friends. A memorial service will be held on Monday at 1 p.m. at Kenneth's, at Kenneth's beloved mansion, 9126 Western Cemetery Street, Cheryl Lee officiating. Western Funeral Services in care of arrangements. Hmm, I wonder if those are codes. And also, I wonder if this mansion is his mansion that's on sale because he died. So I wonder if they're tied together. Yeah, it is. And also, I'm not oh, sure. Oh yeah, see, 9126 Western Cemetery Street. So it is. Okay. So these two are connected. So how, how many letters of the word that we need for this one? Eight. Eight letter word. And it got nothing to do with that little paper? Well, if after this, the only puzzle left is number seven, Which coupon. Is, so maybe that with coupon? I don't know. Okay, how while you try to figure this out, I'm just gonna decode this because I know how this sure. works. Okay. Because one point five means first line, fifth word. Okay. Or something like that. Okay. Oh, don't use that. Oh, it's Sans World. Hi, Sam. Uh, little brother, he's upstairs right now. Um, I don't know. I think he's playing with his iPad or something. So right now we're doing, um, for those of you who just joined us, we're doing the Scarlet Envelope. It's like an envelope with a bunch of puzzles. We're, down, we're almost done. So... This obituary here. Okay, the first word is cut. Oh, okay. I'm trying to decode this. So for example, 1.5 means first line, fifth letter. Okay. And three dots, one more. Okay, just don't talk for now. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Okay, so... So far I have cut out the... Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if there's something we actually need to cut out. Cut out the coupon. Oh, probably. Hold on, don't do it yet. Okay, I will. I, I, I prefer not to destroy anything. Yeah, good fun. 
Okay, no more talking. Cut out the coupon. I have two more words. Oh, okay. Okay, I have cut out the coupon look and one last word. Okay, so for those of you who just joined us, we're doing the Scarlet Envelope. It's like an escape room style puzzle game. Uh, right now... Okay, I have cut out the coupon look through. Okay, so if you were to cut this out, of which I don't want to really cut out, but if you put it against the light, you can kind of see that word over there, which is... Mm, uh, okay. Mansion. Yeah. And so this. the answer is Mansion. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I want to see. So, yeah, we don't need to cut it out. No, no, you need to cut through, and look oh. through that. Yeah. I put it up, straight up against the light, and you can see better. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mansion, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh huh, mansion. Okay. So then the answer to number seven is mansion. Oh, and then so the letter will be the first one. And you still haven't figured out what <laughs> I still haven't figured okay. out. Okay. We have solved six of the seven puzzles for the crossword. The first puzzle was uh, Origami Railway Map. The second puzzle was the Art Museum Ticket. That one was easy. The third puzzle was the Spaceship, which involved a QR code and a website. The fourth puzzle was the invitation letter which was which was kind of confusing and we still don't completely understand but i mean we understand the basic thing no, we but, understand how you saw it but we didn't know yeah. how many letters so that the shift yeah, yeah. Uh, -huh. uh number six was also kind of easy yeah. it was the cabaret and the answer is just guilty yeah and number seven was a cool one mansion is the answer okay and it involved this thing and the coupon. So now all we need is puzzle five, which is the obituary. Well, so where is this so far? Because we can kind of... Uh, then... May... Hmm. Okay, anyway, let's look at obituary. No. Sure. All right, let me get a hint then. I'm going to go drink water. You can get a hint and start solving. Hint. Oh, this thrilling feeling when you come across your enemy's obituary in the newspaper. I wish I could call all my dead enemies 
one last time, you know, to think of it. Oh, so I wonder if we call this number. I don't know, do I? What if it's like a long distance to a different country? I mean, I saw the, okay, I saw the telephone number earlier here. The cell phone number. The area code, 110? Okay. Alright, so I'm going to look up the area code 110 to see what country that is. Or a country code. Country code 110. Canada. Oh. I'm not sure if I, I have free plans to Canada. I, I'm not sure. Okay, well then don't call it just in case. Because, or else you have to pay, right? Yeah, hold on. Uh, but it's a free to call Canada. You know, my, I think my phone might be able to. Oh, okay. AT&T offers domestic rate plans that include unlimited calling from U.S. to Mexico and Canada. I, I'm pretty sure, because I think when we're in Mexico, I was able to roam there. Yeah, okay. I, I, all right, I'm going to call then. Wait, is it just AT&T or all the... Well, I... Because I, what if some... Because they wouldn't put that if someone isn't... Able to call. No, no, no. Depending on your plan. I didn't type in, uh, I just typed in, is it free with AT&T? Because that's a plan I have. Alright. So, alright. So I'm going to dial it. 110. Wait, but if it's not free, how much would it cost? It shouldn't be too, too bad. Zero, four. Okay. So, is that it? 110, 914, 0414. Alright. So I'm going to call. Alright. Let's listen for the audio clue. Oh, that makes sense. Because no. Nope. Nope. All right. What, what are we going to say? That makes sense that it's from Canada because this escape room company. is based. Yeah, it's based in Canada. Okay, I dialed it, but it didn't pick up. Do you think I need to dial all the digits? I just dialed the first one, the cell. Hold on. Wait, why didn't it pick up? What was it saying? Because mm -hmm. maybe it's telling you to press a number after that. All right. Listen. Try again. Okay. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Wow. Yeah, so that wasn't a valid number. Yeah. So I wonder if I dial everything. But then that wouldn't be a number. Oh wait, hold on. Let me do how do you call how do you dial to Canada? Because maybe that I need to dial a different code first. How to dial to Canada? Plus one. So do I dial extra one? In the beginning? Maybe. Because US is one, right? Yeah, like 1 800. Yeah. So should I dial another one? All right, let me try that. Okay. So one, one, ten, nine, one, four, oh, four, one, four. All right, quite a Oh, no. Nope. Hmm. All right. Should I look at a hint to see yeah, how, sure. what exactly what I need to dial? Yeah. When I first saw the number, I kind of thought um, maybe dialing it because I I forgot which puzzle that I played before. You actually had to dial a number and listen to a clue. Okay. So help. Pay attention to the phone number in the obituary. Can the numbers mean something more? Anything about it in the newspaper? All right, so. Oh, maybe it has to do with this. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's not an actual number you call. Maybe you need to, like, you know, like each set is. Oh, wait, how, how many letters is this? Um, number five is one, two, three, four, five, eight. six, seven, eight. Let's see if this is an eight segment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Can the numbers mean something more? Anything about it in the newspaper? It has to 
has a Monday, so maybe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Is there any other. So Monday's minus two. two. I don't know. So minus two to everything? Uh. No. No. Uh, I don't know. Alright, I will look at the answer. I'll give you a hint, okay? So, or actually, I'll, I'll read slowly. Using the letter to number cipher uh, described in the secret codes for the children section. What? Secret codes for children. Where's the children section? Is it on the back? What? Where's the children's section? Is it this? There's a kid there. Are we missing something? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I feel like we're missing a sheet of paper or something. All right, let's see. So you convert. Okay, so these are sets of two. So 11 will become K. Oh, I get it, so okay. But where does it, anyways, okay. So 11 is A, B, C, D, F, G, H, R, J, K, okay. Zero, nine, I, right. Yeah. One four, N. Mm -hmm. D. N. Kinden. E S F. K I N D N E S S. Mm -hmm. Kindness. Oh, kindness. That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So then I need to go to that thing and type in the word. Wait, hold on. Okay. Wait. Kind. It's this E, right? Hold okay. On. Okay, here. So. Here. All right, so scarlet envelope dot C A slash slash this. A T H E N. A T H E N. Athen. A E U N. A E Athenium. Whatever that means. Okay, so it's taking me to a website right now. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome to Scarlet Envelope, the secret. What? Welcome to Scarlet Envelope, the secret society of intellectual players, mystery lovers, and detectives. Your, jour your journey has begun. Wait, so that's just the beginning? Together we will travel time and space, crushing puzzles and discovering breathtaking storylines. Collect letters from all 12 games in Chapter 1 and unlock the 13th game. Wait, so what happened? Bonus clue to help you find the first letter of the password. So I guess we're to find a secret letter from from here. Hold on, let's play the message. Wait, aren't we done? Yeah, yeah, we're done. But what they mean is when you have 12 sets, each set has one. Congratulations, you have solved the Scarlet Crossword and has proven yourself worthy of joining our secret society. We've been watching you for a long time. The envelope you had received was your first test. We sent it to the most promising candidates, but only one in a million can see through all the puzzles and get this far. My name is Game Master, and I possess the ancient knowledge no one else has. 
I can open other worlds and send you through time and space. Now, you are chosen to join me. You will travel universes solving mysteries, discovering breathtaking stories, and helping others. I will send you to 12 worlds to test your brain and detective skills. Think of it as a probation period. In each game, you will find one letter, and when you collect all of them, you will unlock... Uh, spam. Oh, I got a spam call on my phone. I knew something was would happen. Yes. Special spam. 13th game initiation only the strongest players will get there but the reward will be worth it as you've already guessed all the things you found in the envelope come from the worlds you're about to travel to by solving the crossword you've unlocked your next adventure cabaret in lapin blanc until your next envelope okay so the next envelope will be the cafe so, all right. So supposedly, we're, there's like a secret letter from oh, here. Oh yeah, uh huh. There is. Oh, you. It's in here. What? Really? It's a letter P. Do you see it? Oh. Okay. Ah. Wait. Can the camera see? No. Okay. So yeah, you collect. Wait. There's a letter P. Yeah, I, I saw it. Oh, there. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Well, that's good. That's very observant. Okay, so... Oh, there. I yeah. finally... Okay. okay, there. So... Alright, so in the in the hint system, I think there's some puzzles here that we didn't do. So I'm not sure they're like red herrings. Like Medieval what? job application. Oh, what's that? And? Numbers... On the side of the application and text must have same connection. What's a medieval? Well, topic? I mean that wasn't part of the crossword. Can you see what the answer is and how it relates? First number is first line. Oh, this. Oh wait, then we did do that. Okay, all right. Final link. Yeah, with that we did that. Bonus puzzle. It's in the end of the line. Use the final link first. Go to the web page, watch a video. Oh, so was there supposed to be a puzzle to find the letter in here? Because I already saw it. Oh. Use the bonus letter to find the first letter. No, maybe you should have said it to the camera. <laughs> oh well. Okay, anyway. That's it. Okay, yeah. So that is the Scarlet Envelope, first envelope. I guess there's 12 of them. So maybe if it's a monthly subscription, then you can get all of them in the course of a year. And each of them have puzzles similar to this. So if this looks fun to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. And we'll see you later. Oh, and we will do a review of this uh, with our final thoughts and stuff. So, okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.